Hey folks, Chris, once again, welcome back to another video. This is another request. I cannot fucking talk today. This is a request this time from Johnny. Are you Johnny Punk? I'm kidding. Um, and he wanted me to react to something I that's very controversial, and it's called Defense of Defense of Leafy. It's here. Now, I'm not the hugest, gigantic fan of Leafy is here. I do respect him. I do think it's very... I do think it's bullshit that he got his channel deleted. But, let's see what this guy has to say about it. Let's check it out. Hey. What's going on, guys? I'm going to put a brand new name on the channel. And as you can tell, it's with defense of Leafy is here. So you can sit back, relax. Somebody you can barely hear. Now, all I've got to find out the Leafy is here is what did you tell I'll give you what I'm going to do with Leafy was why it's so important to come to your community. Now, I'll ask you to do So basically, Leafy started off the commentary genre. He was one of the most popular creators around. 2014, 2016, around there. Let me turn the subtitles on because I have no idea what the hell this guy's saying because he's so fucking quiet. And that's really all we need to know about Leafy to get where I'm coming from here. A lot of the criticism about Leafy was that he was a reaction commenter on YouTube, which I completely understand because you guys know how I feel about reaction commentary channels from my previous video. But the thing about Leafy is he actually had personality, which you honestly can't say about most of the reaction commentary channels we have now because Leafy. He had a personality of shitting on people for no damn reason. He was actually, you know, funny. Now it's like you should have been very messy. I wanna say funny, but kind of a tiny bit entertaining. Entertaining. So dark humor jokes. Yeah, sure. And were they usually directed towards children? Yeah, sure. But the thing about 2016 YouTube is that no one really cared. The only thing that mattered was that it was funny. To Good for you, man. I really don't think he's that funny. I mean, he's not as bad as people like Rookie Berwick or um, or DJ Cook, but still, he's kind of up there. Crazy edits and transitions and really good script. You came in to watch Leafy bully somebody for 10 minutes straight. And back then, YouTube didn't really care what you did on YouTube. If you weren't showing like porn or being super racist, then you were fine. And honestly, that's why a lot of people, and me included, have that leafy nostalgia. Because leafy represented something more than just a commentary YouTube or what YouTube used to be. YouTube used to be kind of like the Wild West. Because back then, you could really do whatever you wanted to. But now you get to monetize for basically doing nothing. And that's honestly why people were so excited when he came back. Because for a long time, we did not have somebody who just spoke their mind. And everything felt very commercial. Who we'll stopped trying to push the envelope and be some crazy guy? And I get why, because you don't just want to put their ad on somebody bullying the nine year old for 10 minutes straight. But that still doesn't stop any of us from missing only YouTube. He bullied. He started bullying people, man. That's not good. That's not what people watch watch content for, man. And honestly, old YouTube is just going to be here. It's also high dubs, ironically, Bill and Frank, and people like that. It was just such raw content that you can't get it really anywhere else. And that's why when he came back in 2020, he was quickly banned. Because like H3H3 said, his content just wouldn't survive on YouTube. Just, it just can't. YouTube is just way too commercial now to have people like me here. I dubs are pretty under air, people like that. You just won't work. The sad thing is, is that YouTube every day is starting to become more and more commercial. Which means one day it's going to be just like TV. Now, is direction a lot better for YouTube money wise? Yeah, probably. But like I said before, it doesn't make it any more less sad. So, in conclusion, do I think people are bad to die? No. I don't. I think he represented old YouTube as a 
So yeah, we think it was toxic, but so was the entire internet back then. And that's why Leafy is still liked by so many people, because you're a presidential. Yeah, but... Leafy's fucking language... is so graphic. And so just mean-spirited. Like, why would you find that funny? Why would you find that hilarious? Why would you find that enjoyable? Why would you find that fun? I don't get it. Both of you get it right because he wasn't cyberbullying people. Leafy cyberbullies. He literally told, he literally got an autistic child, an autistic, autistic teenager, death threats, and told, and people told him to kill himself. That's pretty fucking disgusting if you ask me. Oh, there it is. That me and others like so much. So that will conclude today's video of the defense of me and you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you like and subscribe and tell us we have peace. Yeah, I'm not subscribing to you. <laughs> but yeah, that was it. What can I say about Link here that was already been said? He's several movies. He told an autistic kid to kill himself, which is sick. And they said he cyberbullies children. Like, what kind of sick fuck cyberbullies fucking kids like that? I don't get it. If you like Leafy, that's cool. But I don't. I don't. If you like Leafy. For one, I don't, understand, I don't understand why you do, but if you like him, I guess that's fine, but he's really not my cup of tea, and you guys should respect that, because I respect your opinion. So, we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.